What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. And um, I got this this thing here, up here, you know, this picture that you're seeing. Because it was the only picture that I can get of the two teams together, you know. Um, all the rest of this here about the Browns and Bills game preview, don't, you know, forget all that. You know, it's just a picture of these two teams. I, I just want to talk about these two. Um, but before I get into my video, let me say this. I know that we're we're in the, you know, uh, the NBA playoffs is going on right now. You know, and basically everybody's talking about Cleveland's going to do another, uh, you know, they're going to win another ring or whatever. They're going to win the finals and stuff like that. The Cleveland Cavaliers and stuff, you know, they're going to win it all again and whatever. You know, I'm going to tell you – uh, from my perspective when it comes to basketball. I haven't been a basketball fan in a long time. Matter of fact, the last time I actually, uh, you know, seen a little bit of basketball was back when the Heat had all the good players on one team. You know, when they had Shaq and they had LeBron and they had, you know, all these other players. But I'm not into basketball. I'm a football UFC and little slight little bit of wrestling, but matter of fact, I ain't even trying to even watch wrestling anymore. So it's basically uh, NFC, boxing. Yeah, I forgot to add boxing and football. That's it. You know, that's it. You know, but I want to talk about something here. I want to just talk for a minute because. After the NBA playoffs is over and the said and done and the Cleveland Cavaliers, who could possibly win, you know, and, be, and become the, the NBA champions in 2017, they could do that. But it really wouldn't matter to me, you know. I, you know, I don't want to hop into a bandwagon just because everybody else is hopping into a bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? When, when I became a Patriots fan, I became a true Patriots fan. I didn't hop back and forth from back and forth, whatever, from the Bills to the Patriots. I'm a true Patriots fan, and I'm a stay Patriots, you know. Uh, I'm not just, when it comes to basketball, I'm not just going to hop on the bandwagon. I don't see regular season games of the NBA. I don't see it, you know. So, whatever. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to hop on the bandwagon like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But after the NBA Finals is done, two months after that, we'll have the preseason of football today. Here we go again. I want to talk about the two most delusional fan base in the NFL, and that is the Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo fucking Bills. Let's start with Cleveland. Jimmy Haslam, you do not care about the Cleveland Browns. Because the Cleveland Browns are not your money makers. The business that you got with the, the, the gas station, whatever the case may be, those are your money makers. The Cleveland Browns isn't. Hugh Jackson, who you had to, to pay extra to come to Cleveland yeah, when he came from the Bengals, you had to pay that dude extra, just like all the other players that, that, that come to uh that come to Cleveland. Do you think those draft picks that y'all got? Cleveland Browns, let me tell y'all something about y'all draft picks. They know that they are coming into a losing team who has not made the playoffs since forever. And you will have wasted talent. Those first round picks and all those other picks that y'all got, you will have wasted talent. Because you can go out there as a rookie and go out there and do your thing. But if you're on a losing team, it won't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just wasted talent. <clears throat> you know, you're not going to get recognized. You're not going to get the, the exposure that you should be getting. You're not going to get it. You know, and then the same thing for the Buffalo Bills, all those draft picks that they got. Now, here's the Buffalo Bills who got to come with, you know, slogans every year to get Buffalo Bills fans to, to buy season tickets and shit. You know, you get some draft picks and all y'all, y'all thinking y'all, you know, going to do something in the, uh, in the uh, regular season. 
And it's the same shit every fucking year. But let me I'm gonna go back to the Cleveland for a while though, because I wanna I wanna just talk about y'all for a minute. Hugh Jackson. You know, when Hugh Jackson, when it was announced that Mike Bettine was going to be fired, and Hugh Jackson and Robert Griffin III, you know, not Robert Griffin III, Robert Griffin III, because he is a turd. He, he, he shouldn't even be in, uh, in no team right now. I don't think nobody picked him up. When, when they got into Cleveland, don't you think that Jimmy Hassan was saying to himself, damn, I got to pay these these motherfuckers extra just to come to fucking Cleveland on a on a playoff drought fucking team. Don't you think Jimmy Hassan was saying that to himself? Yes, he was. I'm pretty sure he I'm pretty sure that the players that come to Cleveland, I'm pretty sure he got to play them extra. And the coach, the coaches gotta pay extra too. Because nobody wants to fucking coach the Cleveland fucking Browns. And can you blame them? Can you blame them? You know? Why is people so happy about draft picks? Do you think that any team, any any uh, rookie in the NFL, any draft pick in the NFL who was picked by Cleveland, do you think that they're happy that they are a, a Brown or a Bill or Bills? You know, a Bills player or a Browns player, you think they're happy about that? Knowing that they'll never make the fucking, not even the wild card? Do you know how ridiculous that is? Why would anybody be happy to come to a team that's in a fucking playoff drought? Yeah, you know, and I've said it before and I'll say it again. You Cleveland Browns fans are delusional. You are delusional, and it shows. When y'all went against the San Diego Chargers, y'all was acting, y'all, I seen that video, it was so cheesy. It was so fucking cheesy. You know, when y'all went against that San Diego Chargers and won y'all first game in the regular season, everybody was sitting up there, they was party, uh, we're going to rock and roll up, you know. Cleveland rocks, Cleveland, and, and, you know, players were sitting in on the fucking field and, and thanking God, you know, it was so cheesy. It was so fucking cheesy. And I'm sitting up there like, what the fuck? Like, y'all act like y'all just won the playoffs. So damn cheesy. You know, yeah, it was a huge, it wasn't a huge Jackson plan for y'all to win a game in the first place, and anybody who's anybody would know that. Hugh Jackson plan in the first place would go zero and sixteen, and to uh, to make sure that they got that first overall pick in the draft, which I said before and I will say it again, y'all draft picks was fucking mediocre. It wasn't what the draft picks y'all should have gotten because that offensive line sucks. You got big fucking fat fucking slobs who can't even block and fucking Robert Griffin the turd and any other fucking uh, quarterback for the Browns can't even make two or three second decisions to throw the damn ball. They always got to fucking run and they always getting sacked or throwing interceptions. Because you got fat fucking slops on the fucking field who can't block for shit. Why would you get anybody on the defensive when you should be concentrating on the offensive line? You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, come on, man. Y'all, y'all got the wrong draft picks. And these are people, you know, any way it goes, these are people that may do a good job on the field. But remember, you're playing for Cleveland. So it don't even matter what you do. You're playing for a losing team. And you you think you can make the playoffs and shit. You think that that's going to happen? Hell fucking no, it's not going to happen. Now let's get to the uh, Bills. You guys are delusional too. Y'all not as bad as the Browns, but y'all are delusional too. Because when y'all got uh, Rex Ryan, who came from the fucking Jets, who hated the Bills. 
He came onto the Bills with a four and twelve, uh, coming from a four and twelve record. Four and twelve record. And he did that long ass fucking press conference, that hour long press conference, talking about the Bills gonna be bullies. They was gonna be bullies. They were gonna push people around and all that. These motherfuckers, it was like playing ta- tag football. Every fucking thing they did, they was penalized for. They was penalized for. Whatever Rex Ryan got into their head, it didn't fucking work because everything the Bills did, everything little touch they did, they was penalized for. Hell, it got so bad that even when the Bills wasn't even touching nobody, they was penalized. You know, I think the refs were being totally biased against the Bills. Totally biased. But that's how that been for years. It wasn't just last season. It was every fucking season. You know, the refs got something against the Bills. The refs got something. They got something against the Bills. Let me just be honest. And that long ass press conference Rex Ryan did. You know, I that was all just to get just the uh hype Bills fans up, just like the Browns, you know. The uh, you know, Cleveland Browns draft picks and stuff. They get draft picks and here go Brown delusional Brown, Browns fans going out buying up season fucking passes and shit. Thinking that this year was gonna be different than last year. Hey Browns fans, let me get back to y'all for a minute. Your average record is either three and uh three and thirteen or four and twelve. The average record for the Bills is five and eleven, six and ten. Look it up yourself. Go to Wikipedia, look up all the records, look it up for yourself, just like I did. That's the average fucking record. So why would you think? Now, let me go on back to the Bills. Bills, you got a, 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 a coach now who this first time as a head coach, okay? I think he was the defensive uh, coordinator for the Panthers. And, uh, you know, now he's a head coach for the Bills. Regardless of what kind of coach, regardless of what kind of draft picks that you motherfuckers get, Don't you know you're never going to see the playoffs again, just like the Cleveland fucking Browns? This is why Bill Belichick is the greatest. Let me tell you the reason why Bill Belichick is the greatest coach in NFL history. He will go down the Hall of Fame as the greatest coach in NFL history. Because he take players from the Bills. He took a lot of players from the Bills and made them from average to superstars. <clears throat> he took players from the Bills. He took a player from the Bills, Chris Chris Hogan, who was an average player on the Bills, and made him a weapon in the playoffs and in the Super Bowl. But y'all, y'all don't want people talking about that. Y'all don't want people talking about Bill Belichick because Bill Belichick to y'all is a, is a, is a, you know, he's a cheater and stuff like that. You know, so many people hate on other people's success. They can't wait for their downfall. They can't wait because you're a fat, lazy fucking slob who, who, who want to sit there and don't do nothing and hate on everybody who's successful. That's why y'all hate on Bill Belichick. You hate the Patriots, okay? Because you're fat, lazy fucking slobs who sit there with your anti-social fucking uh, group and shit and talk about Bill Belichick and talk about the Patriots. Uh, you know, that deflate gate and all that, that's the first thing y'all come up with, with that damn deflate gate. Come on, man. Bill Belichick is the great. He's a, there's a reason why Bill Belichick is the great. Because people listen to him. People listen to him. Browns fans, you got Hugh Jackson. Don't nobody listen to him. Rex Ryan, the, uh, Bills fans, you had Rex Ryan. Nobody was listening to his ass. He's, these people are not leaders. Hugh Jackson is not a leader. 
Rex Ryan wasn't a leader. And that's something y'all got to deal with. You need leaders in order to have a successful team. You need leaders and you don't fucking have it. The Patriots every year, almost every year, goes to the playoffs. Even if they don't make the Super Bowl, just going to the divisional round is good enough. At least they made the playoffs. Anyway, I ain't going no more. This is a 15-minute video, and I done already did my rant, but I just got to say this. You know, y'all can go on and get hyped over y'all draft picks all y'all want, Cleveland Browns and Buffalo Bills fans. Y'all can get all hyped all y'all want. It won't make a shit of difference when you don't make the when you don't even can't even make the wild card. Delusional for life. Buffalo Bills and Cleveland Browns fans are delusional for life and irrelevant. Now hit that dislike button. This is the Baron. I'm out. Peace.